Hi everybody, welcome back. I have, you guys know who this is. This is Leah Mari. She is my favorite model in the whole wide world. Uh, I'm sorry that I've been on a break. We've just been trying to get everything going with Faba TV, which I hope that you're um, excited about and enjoying right now. And just booking artists and trying to get everything done because I am going on the road. I will be in California uh, at the end of July. Then in the beginning of August, I will be in um, Excuse my pronunciation. Maybe it's Oosterhout in the Netherlands. And then I'm going to make a quick trip to London. So anybody who wants to come and paint in London, let me know. I'll send me an email. So I hope everybody is having a great summer. So I want to give you guys a little bit of a few designs just to get you ready for this summer. And I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite new products. Um, the Face and Body Art Convention just passed and I got a chance to find out about a bunch of new products. So one of them is like my favorite thing in the world and this is a Kabuki brush. It is made by Extreme Body Art. Uh, many of you know the fantastic artist Lima. She is amazing and uh, this is her Kabuki and I absolutely love it because it just it holds the hairs nicely and wait do you see how easy it is. I did a full body painting tiger and I used this and I was able to cover the full body in maybe like 15 minutes. It was amazing. No streaking. This Kabuki brush makes it look like it is uh, airbrush. So this is what it looks like. It's wet so it's not as full but I'll show you how to use it and everything. So I'm going to be using my beautiful model Leah here. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys a really quick and easy uh, mask design to do on her. Look at how beautiful she is. So um, this is the new Fab Paint and it is produced, uh, this is how it comes, um, and it is produced in Holland by a company called Superstar and they made this paint for us so I'm excited. So, so I got my Kabuki wet. I just rub it over the surface like that so that I could basically coat the hairs of this. So then all you have to do is I'm just going to blot the excess and then I'm going to go right on her face and I'm just going to basically brush it on just like this. And because the Kabuki hair are so incredibly soft it just kind of like coats the face so fast and then like basically what you have is this beautiful base color like literally in seconds so then I just loaded my kabuki um, with a little bit of orange just like this uh, just on the tips and I still left some of that gold and then I'm going to gently just go right around this design and just um, kabuki in some some of this orangish right in there so now I have kind of a two-tone effect the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to give my actual mask an outline so you can do this with using one of your arty cakes uh, so because Lotus has uh, orange and yellow next to it and it even has a pink I'm just going to go in and I'm going to load and pick up just a slight bit of those colors just like this because I'm going to just trace this outline. All I'm going to do is I'm going to start in the middle of the forehead and with my darkest color on the outside I'm going to go around I'm going to make a little ear and I'm going to make sure that my darkest color is on the outside. So now you can see the outline. I'm going to load my brush again just slightly making sure that I'm picking up the same exact colors and I'm going to again just follow what I did and I'll darken up this side and then I'm going to follow this around just like this make another ear and I'm just following that around just like that so I'm just going to go right around it one more time so that I get a little bit of that pink which is cool too it's not a problem so then what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going, because this is going to be somewhat of kind of like a giraffe design, is I'm also going to pick up using a filbert brush, I'm going to pick up two more of those colors, just the orange and the yellow this time, and make the little um, antlers of my giraffe. So I go straight through the middle and make kind of like a little flat edge, and I'm going to do the same thing on this side, make a little flat edge. So now I have the basic outline of this mask, okay? And now to soften out those edges, all I'm going to do is just take my sponge, pick up a little bit 
and I want my sponge on the drier side is I'm going to pick up a little bit of gold on this and I'm just going to blend and stipple out those edges so that I get a nice even blend so you don't see those hard lines right on the edge of it. Now before I go any further I am going to take this stencil and it's kind of like this um, giraffe pattern or it can be any type of texturing and I'm going to use it just to stipple right over the top of it using a little bit um, of red mixed with brown so that I can add a little bit of, uh, of texture to this design. So on my sponge I'm going to mix a little bit of a red and a brown together. So I'm going to hold this stencil right on her forehead and I'm just going to pad um, my sponge stipple it right over the top of it just like that so when I lift it up uh, let me zoom in for you guys I'm going you can see where it gave it the texture and now I'm gonna add just a little bit close your eyes for me too thank you I'm gonna add it right on her temples and then working it right on the cheeks right in there because this will free you up from having to do very much more detail work. So notice what I'm doing, just stippling it right on there. So now I have some really cool texture on this design and I'll zoom in at the very last minute. So finally, all you really have to do is just go in and give everything a good outline. Close your eyes for me. Now when I'm uncertain if my brush is too wet, I just dab it on my wrist to make sure I get off and pull off any extra. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in the corner of her eye and I'm just going to give it um, a little bit of an outline just like that. And from the corner of her eye, I'm going to pull outward, kind of in a diagonal. Now I'm going to repeat the same thing on this side. So can you close your eyes for me? So I'm going to just line her eye just like this and you want to make sure that you give it a little bit of a lift just like that and from the corner I'm going to pull outward on a diagonal just like that so now I kind of made her eyes a little bit more dramatic the next thing I'm going to do is just give this a little bit of an outline so I'm going to start off by outlining this area right here which are the little giraffe antennas and then I'm going to go out and I'm going to just make a little triangle there for the ears and you could also use this as a cat mask too. So then right as I, I made a straight line and then I'm going to just make some fur like as I travel underneath the nose and I made a little bit of a curve right inside of there. What I do is just give this an outline and then I'm going to come inside of here and I'm also since I gave a little bit of hair at the bottom I'm going to give a little bit of hair here and notice what I'm doing. I'm just flicking the tip of my brush so that I don't get super thick hair. Then I'm going to go in and I'm going to outline this as well just like I did with the last one right inside of there. My beautiful Leah. And then I'm going to transfer sides and I'm going to oops and then I'm going to do the same thing on this side and just add a little bit of depth to the ear then I come around straight with it and as I get to the corner of her cheeks is when I'm gonna try and I'm gonna start fanning the hair and bringing it in till I bring it over the nose like this now the cool thing about this is you can leave it just like this or you could take it the next step further so I'm just gonna dress it up and make it a little bit more girly by adding a little bit more um, a little bit more eyelashes just like that and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to highlight some of her spots and just add a little bit more on her nose so I'm just going to make these two little markings for her nose right inside of there and then right underneath her eyes and right around here I'm going to just emphasize every other one by giving it a halfway outline just to really show uh, the depth of those spots and notice it's just a very jagged outline nothing too strong just to kind of emphasize it I'm just going to go in and I'm going to give this a little bit of a white highlight right in there just like that 
and the same thing in the ears and then it's up to you you can go in and add a little bit of white on the other side of these spots you don't want to make them too perfect because that'll defeat the purpose but um, I'm just going in and I'm going to give it a little bit and a dot here and there oh bless you Leah just burped in my face all right so now I'm going to give her, I'm going to dress her up by giving her a little bit of lipstick because for me, that really brings the design together. Like, I like kids to feel magical when they leave my chair. So I added a little bit of lipstick to her. And then I'm going to use glitter to really make it come alive. Close your, uh, I'm going to put it right there on the bottom of her lip just like that to make her lip really sparkle and then I'm going to really emphasize these spots on her more than anything else so then we're going to look in the camera and I'm gonna do a close-up on her so that you guys can really see and then she's gonna say thank you for joining us just say bye-bye. If you guys like what you see here, please join me on Fava TV for more of Leah and uh, more of all the great artists that I have coming your way. I really uh, appreciate all of you guys' support, and I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial today. Say bye. Bye. Perfect.